Welcome back to the second part of our two days online seminar, Pluggable Lighting Installation. In this part, we will concentrate on standardized solutions as a basis for easy planning. And let's start with the Gizus Classic system we had, uh, and we will sh have a closer look to further systems uh, on further slides. So what we always try is to combine the standard solutions or standard installations with distribution blocks. You can have it in different types. You can have a one-to-one -one connection uh, with a locking in this case to connect a single luminaire. If you have two luminaires to connect, then you work with a T-piece. So with one input and two outputs <clears throat> to connect these luminaires. Next step, you have three luminaires to connect. Then you have a so-called H distribution block H because you have one input and three outputs and uh, looks like an H. You can also have a double H to connect five luminaires. And of course, you can combine this and cascade this. So if you, for example, have this solution, but you have further two luminaires to connect in this area, then you can also work with an H distribution block here connect a further connection cable and add further two luminaires here. So this can always be plugged together like a, if you know um, a Lego system, uh, depending on the needs on site, depending on the luminar layout you have. And um, this is, let me say, the part for the field components, so the luminaires itself. And then, you, of course, you have infrastructure cabling. In this case, also a three-pole infrastructure cabling with T pieces here. But you can also work, for example, with a three-phase supply. So then you have five-pole feed-in female. Again, T pieces, but in this case, five-pole through wiring and three-pole output with different faces for different um, luminar circuits. If this is not flexible enough, then you can work with our flat cable solution here. So this is again a five pole flat cable available with a 2.5 or four square millimeters cross section. Then you have three phase supply and a single phase output. And you may uh, see it here, you have the possibility to configure the connected phase here. And this is possible at any time. So you can uh, don't have to replace the adapter or um, anything if you want to change the connected phase. This is the switch luminaire. But this is, of course, as mentioned before, you can use this also for dim for dimmed solution. Same idea, you have T pieces, you have H distribution blocks, can connect several numbers of luminaires. And if you want to um, extend the system, you can also cascade these systems. So add a further connection cable here and add further luminaires and so on. Then going back to the infrastructure, again here, of course, minimum here is a five pole infrastructure cabling with distribution blocks. If you need more flexible uh, flexibility, you use a special flat cable uh, with a special coating. So uh, therefore it's also another color fitting to the coating here. Then you of course always have a three pole output uh, five pole output here to connect the luminaires or the connecting cables with single phase power and DALI signal or single phase power and one to 10 volts analog signal in the flat cable. If the dimensions of uh, the systems are very high or if you have very, um, very extreme loads connected, you can also work with a three phase flat cable solution plus dimming signal. So in this case, you have here five pole mains, so neutral earth plus three phases, 
plus a two pole um, signal part of the flat cable, so overall seven pole flat cable. And then you have here again, five pole outputs. But again, here you can choose the supplying phase uh, to connect to the luminaires. So, and these flat cable solutions make the whole system very, very um, flexible. So you can move the adapters, you can add further adapters if needed at any time. Uh, and the distance of the um, outputs is very flexible. So that makes the handling very easy, uh, especially if you have changes in the system. Now we are going back from a dimmed luminaire solution uh, to a switched one. And now this is realized switched with Gizis Mini. So the smaller solution we talked about also in the first part, here you see a comparison of a three pole plug. So you can see it's around 30% smaller than the standard Gizis Classic system. Again, both systems are usable for fixed installation. So both uh, uh, systems are a part of the EEC 61535. Next is to have a closer look to the IP protected installation. So this is a RST classic system, uh, IP protection 66, IP68, as well as IP69. So this is high pressure, this is temporary underwater, this is um, splashed water. So it's usable for outside applications, horticulture applications, um, as well as things like parking garages or something like that. Um, and again, you can have this all pre-assembled directly from our company. So um, next part, uh, we're getting smaller again, um, but still IP protected or still with a high IP protection class. Um, this is the RST mini system. And here you again, you have a size comparison between classic and mini. So um, it's the, the length of the device is nearly the same, but the diameter is very much lower. So nearly 50% only of the RST classic system. So in areas where you don't have so much space, this is possible. Both systems, again, uh, part of the fixed installation and um, approved according to IEC 61535. But we can do even smaller. And this is the system um, RST Micro. Uh, this is not part of the fixed installation because this system is limited to a maximum current of eight amps. So not part of the fixed installation, mainly used for, for example, LED supply. Um, in areas where you really have um, problems with the size of the devices, then you see here a comparison in size. So the RST mi uh, microsystem is really 50% smaller, even 50% smaller than the RST mini system. And again, you can do the same system, the same idea, the same structure uh, for your installation uh, that is not depending on the size. And um, the last samples only showed switched luminous of course everything what you saw here is also possible for dimmed luminous doesn't matter then we will have now some uh, a look to some special um, installation structures we use often in uh, mainly in office buildings one thing is um, such an installation this would be the standard we saw before plugable installation supply luminous um, but we also have distribution blocks, special distribution blocks like this here. Um, there you can connect the supply, you can uh, connect further devices, but you also can connect a uh, on and off switch or serial switch or a crossover switch to this distribution block. And if you may see this here, here are white lockings to show this is the output for the Lumina. So then you have such a distribution block with this functionality to be able to do a complete plugable installation uh, in the room, including the control device, everything plugable, everything pre-assembled, 
uh, and so in this case of course very fast to install um, another thing we often use in um, retail areas for example you may know that they are working with three lighting groups one if they have cleaning actions and the rest is only switched on if the store is opened and therefore we have this solution here with a flat cable connecting the luminaires and as i mentioned before this one is a three pole output where you can simply change the face if you have a closer look here now to the video so you just reopen it move the this adapter to connect another face and according the uh, um, store light lighting this would uh, result uh, in the feature that you can switch the lighting group with by changing the face of this of these adapters and then you have a new lighting layout for the store for cleaning actions and so on so it makes it very easy and very fast and without any further thought to change lighting groups to different uh, uh, in the store um, step by step Okay, uh, next thing, and we didn't talk about this, but it's, of course, we also have these solutions. Um, this would be a flat cable supply for our decentral um, room automation. Um, this is a modular room automation basing on the KNX uh, bus system. So you have a basic module, you can add several further modules depending on the application, depending on the needs of the project and then can connect the luminaires in the same way we saw before, in a structured way, switchable or dimmable, um, and can do the control locally, direct in the office or um, in the floor, uh, on the corridor, uh, in the fourth floor or in the suspended ceiling, and then put the standard pluggable installation behind these room automation components. During the years, we had several, uh, we have a lot of partners working together with us. This is only a rough uh, and very small uh, sample of uh, partners we are working with, uh, where you can order luminaires directly pluggable. So this means you, you don't need a connection cable, you don't need any um, wiring, manual wiring and connecting on site. You can directly order these luminaires pluggable from the manufacturer. So um, could look like this. This is, for example, was, is a Gizes Mini two-pole connection to a luminaire. Could look like this. This is a RST Mini IP protected uh, connection to a luminaire. And so you see there are several different um, variants of luminaires that are available. As I told before, this is only a very small overview. Um, this is, for example, RST Classic connection from a company, RZB, um, located here in Bamberg in Germany also nearby. And um, these partners are growing um, more and more. So let me say nearly most of the known Luminar manufacturers are working together with VLAN and uh, are able to deliver directly pluggable luminaires to you and to the projects. This should be enough for the second part of our online seminar today, and I'll be back with the third part in some minutes. Thank you.